Hello YouTubers, Aaron Nail coming at you with another video. Today, we are going to take a look at my Red Rangers Power Sword. Uh, from the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Just got this, I just picked this up today. I actually received it like a week ago, but didn't even know it. Um, but I just picked this up a few hours ago, and it is here. Um, I have the unboxing on my other page, uh... YouTube.com and AL2003. You can check that out. Um, but this specifically here is just the review. Um, but I, I got it from a, from a prop maker over in China. And um, let's go ahead and uh, jump right into it. So here is the handle. Um, as you can see, it's the nice. Fairly nice and thick here. Um, you got the diamonds. That's like like so. This is correct. Uh, according to screen accuracy, the diamonds. This is how it's supposed to look. The diamonds here. That. And then moving on up. One second here. I gotta make room for myself. There we go. <laughs> All right. And as they move up. Here is the middle part. The uh, the symbol. This um, obviously has some uh, screen accurate issues here. This is not exactly correct. I've seen better. Um, then again, I'm not a professional cosplayer. I'm still kind of working my way. I'm kind of, you know, between beginner and amateur. So I'm really not massively advanced in the cosplay area field so I'm not you know massively picky about the accuracy of everything according to the the show like some people are um, plus you know as much as there might be some inaccuracies um, the sword did save me a good you know, a couple hundred dollars from you know some other swords that are more screen accurate but only in certain aspects um, and then here's is the uh, the side part with the flames here. Um, now, with the flames, a lot of a lot of the swords, um, you'll actually will see that they uh, they do come out. This one, not so much. Again, another screen uh, uh, a screen inaccuracy is it doesn't have that depth to it so it doesn't so the flames don't kind of come up a little bit like they do in uh, some of them which again uh, makes it a little bit more screen accurate when it does have that depth but again with me I'm not too entirely worried about it I mean you know it's for my movie and a lot of people aren't really going to pay a whole lot of attention to the depth of it um, because they're more worried about the overall picture, <laughs> you know, the overall sword itself. So, and then, of course, you have the two little marble things here, which is correct. This is accurate here. Um, but, of course, this this is a little, this is a little off, and the flames not coming a little up, uh, not having a lot of depth is also not quite right. But, like I said, it's it's okay, you know, it's... You know, it, it's a start, okay? It's a start. Okay, now... Let's see, I'm going to get on the bed here. Um, but we look at the blade. The blade is very nicely done. Um, as you can see, the nice details. Um, very well done. I like it. And uh, there's the tip. The tip right there. And uh, pretty pointy. But uh, overall... Good sword. Um, it's not a heavy sword like maybe some of the other replica models are. They might be more actual, you know, weight. Have a little bit more weight to it. This one's, again, it's just a prop. So it's not meant to be super heavy. It's just meant to look like the thing. Which is fine by me. You know, it looks really good. You know, like I said, I'm not going to be massively picky about every little thing. So... Um, this is just fine. Um, I could do with this. And, yeah, so I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, but that is your review of the Power Rangers. Oh, um, 
I can't remember where I got this on on. Uh, I got it off eBay. Um, oh, it was. Uh, I want to say it was Cost Joy or something. Coast Joy, yeah, Cost Joy, or something. They're out there on eBay, and uh, these guys are going for about a hundred and. Anywhere from about 129, 149, depending on uh, where you go. Um, personally, if you if you wanted to get the best, of the best, um, I would go to Ranger Board, and you could definitely find a better design, a better, more accurate model uh, on there. Uh, as for me. You know, my movie has been way past due, and, you know, it's I'm getting tired of playing the waiting game. So, um, and I'm not trying to settle for poor quality, but uh, I'm getting tired of waiting for, you know, 100% the best, because sometimes um, it just never ends up happening for me. So sometimes I have to settle for a little bit less, but not so less that it becomes really really cheap 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 and this is not cheap I, I think this is a good sword um, considering eBay um, but cost joy I think is good um, like I said maybe a couple inaccuracies here and there but overall I like it um, you know it's not heavy to hold so if you take it to a <coughs> I'm not feeling well if you take it to a um, an event um, you're not sitting there, you know, having, having to only hold, be able to hold it for five minutes and then like, oh, my arm hurts. You know, it's, it's light enough. You can hold for as long as you want to hold it. So you don't have to sit there and worry about, you know, it being too heavy when you go to a, an actual event. So, you know, something to keep in mind, you know, you know, it's not, it's not one of the ones from Ranger Board, but... Even even though that that's the case, it's still really really well done for not being from Ranger Board. So I, I I like it. I think it's good. It'll go it'll go well with my my movie. And uh, before I before I go, I'm gonna uh, one second, guys. I'm gonna grab something here. stuff in the way but here we go I decided I'd got my helmet there too so you know power sword and then my my helmet to go with it so it's it's pretty cool um, pretty cool deal overall so yep the Red Ranger power sword if you guys have any comments go ahead and uh, let me know and uh, I will see you next time